In January 2007, Middle East Projects International, a company wholly owned and staffed by Technip, was selected as the EPC contractor for the offshore associated gas project Package 1. In November 2007, Adgas signed the contract with MEPI for the OAG-1 project, which is located in its entirety on Das Island, an industrial island with existing LNG facilities and oil production facilities located some 180 kilometers offshore from Abu Dhabi. The project scope covers the engineering, procurement, construction, pre-commissioning and commissioning of all the facilities up to and including performance test run. The OAG Package 1 project is one of three packages through which the OAG project is being implemented. The other two packages constitute a gas processing plant in Hapshan, reception terminal, and a 30-inch pipeline to carry the compressed gas from Das Island to Hapshan. OAG Package 1 is the first like project in capturing and exporting the offshore gas to the mainland. Constructing the new plant on Das Island presents unique and tedious challenges to overcome, the distance from the mainland and the limited space available on the island being the most dominant. In overcoming these challenges, Technip devised a specific subcontracting and construction strategy to best suit the requirements of ADGAS and to achieve the project schedule. The plant was pre-constructed in the form of steel modules, complete with piping, electrical and instrumentation works. In total, 48 pipe rack modules and 8 process modules were constructed on the mainland and in India and delivered by barge to Das Island. With weights of the modules varying from 37 to as much as 700 tons, the sequence and method of installation on site was key for efficient progress on site. While construction of the modules was ongoing in parallel by two separate subcontractors, one located in the UAE and the other in India, the construction site on Das Island was undergoing major transformations. Massive earthworks resulted in over 230,000 cubic meters of earth removed from the job site, equivalent to over 15,000 truckloads, over 300 full barge loads to the mainland. Reclamation for the new flare stack was ongoing, as well as underground piping, construction of four blast-proof buildings and concrete foundation works. Over 25,000 cubic meters of concrete were batched and poured on site, enough concrete to construct 14 10-story buildings. Geographically, the OAG Package 1 project is divided into three main areas. The podium area, the flare area, the process trains and common facilities areas. At the podium area, two booster compressor trains, each one designed to serve 50% to compress atmospheric gas to a pressure of 2.2 bar, with a combined capacity of 95.3 million standard cubic feet of gas per day. The booster compression trains are the first of five stages of compression of the plant. The booster compressors are variable speed motor-driven equipment to enable the operator to adjust the plant capacity following atmospheric gas availability from upstream facilities. Each booster compressor unit includes its dedicated associated equipment such as knockout drums, condensate pumps, recycle coolers, etc. At the flare area, land is reclaimed and a new flare stack and flare system are installed located approximately 30 meters off the northwest corner of the island. 
the flare and hydrocarbon blowdown systems are provided to allow the safe collection and disposal of process streams during startup, shutdown, upset conditions, and during plant maintenance. The flare system is designed to handle highest flare loads anticipated from OAG1 in various operating cases of the plant. At the process and common facilities area, where the process area consists of the two feed gas compressors trains, each for 50% capacity, along with condensate handling facilities, serve to compress the available gases 35 pounds, 75 pounds, 230 pounds, and 780 pounds to 141 barg, with a combined capacity of 211 million standard cubic feet of gas per day. Each feed gas compressor contains four stages of compression, with a GE Frame 5 turbine driving the compressors of each train. While the common facilities consist of fuel gas treating facility that has the purpose to sweeten sour fuel gas to fuel the feed gas compressor's gas turbines to meet the demand of 16.5 million standard cubic feet of gas per day using MDEA treatment. Hot oil system aims at serving the waste heat recovery from gas turbines and to provide the heat duty demand of the plant. Instrument air system ensures to satisfy OAG1 requirement for instrument air. Consists of two air compressors, each one designed for 100% plant air requirement with two air dryers to obtain the required dew point of the instrument air. In addition, an instrument air receiver sized to provide 20 minutes of surge capacity to protect against varying instrument air demands and to allow safe shutdown of plant in case of instrument air failure. Nitrogen generation system aims at providing normal OAG1 nitrogen demands using membrane separation technology. Drains and sewer system The main purpose of the OAG plant is to process the additional associated low-pressure gases that would become available from ADMA OPCO when oil production is increased from 450,000 barrels per day to 600,000 barrels per day. In September 2010, with the OAG pipeline available and the new facilities at Habshan ready to process gas, Adgas proceeded with exporting 200 million standard cubic feet per day of dehydrated low-pressure gas from the OAG Package 1 plant on Das Island via the OAG pipeline. The project has spent 500,000 home office man hours with a peak of 250 people and at peak of construction in December 2009, about 2,500 people were present on Das Island constructing the OAG Package 1 plant. By September 2010, with the start of export from Das Island, over 14,500,000 man-hours had been spent on Das Island without LTI. ADGAS and TECHNIP, supported by their outstanding management skills and strong organization, successfully saw through the project to the completion of the plant test run and subsequently the handover of the plant to ADGAS on DAS Island in March 2011.